looking at the basic principles behind starting a fluorescent light fitting, which contains an inductor, sometimes known as a choke or ballast, incorporating a starter and a capacitor for power factor correction. The circuit diagram shows the basic layout for a fluorescent lighting circuit. When the switch at the door is closed, the circuit is made through the choke, through the end of the electrode on the tube, through the starter, the starter blades are in the open position, the conductive path is through the gas within the starter, typically neon. When that gets warm, the blades close in the starter, completing the circuit down the other electrode and back through the neutral. With the blades within the starter now in the closed position, the gas is no longer generating heat in there and the blades start to cool. On cooling, they open the circuit, causing the large back EMF developed by the choke to drop across the tube itself, causing the small pieces of mercury within the tube as well as the inert gas, typically argon, to conduct through the tube and no longer the starter part of the circuit. The circuit is now complete through the switch in the closed position, through the choke which now acts as a current limiting resistor, through the very low resistive tube and back through the neutral. Because the choking circuit offers inductance, we must counteract this by adding in parallel across the supply a power factor correction capacitor. If this capacitor isn't in circuit, the lamp will work as normal. However, the current being taken by the circuit will be greatly increased. We can see the gas in the starter getting warm and illuminating, and we can see the tube strike as the large back EMF is dropped across it. The capacitor disconnected from the fluorescent lighting circuit, we can see the light takes about 0.7 of an amp. By adding capacitance to the circuit, we can see the supply current will fall. The current taken by the capacitor is around 0.6 of an amp. The current now taken by the light fitting is about 0.3 of an amp. Note the lamp never changed brightness or was affected by adding capacitance to the circuit. This is the basic principles of power factor correction.